Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is Flat Top Friday here at Norman Dre Guitars. And we're also going to do Spec Check with Brandon Soriano. Hello! Woo! And yesterday we played a gig uh, for 818 Day. Um, it was at the Topanga Westfield Mall? Yeah. Yes. I was there, don't worry. <laughs> he was there. But I'm still checking where we were. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. There were some uh, customers we recognized, our friend Ken and. Uh, and your whole family came out. Yeah, it was really I'm, cool. I'm a local, so my family was just down the street. So. And Brandon was also on the news. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Or will be on I the news. I don't know when it's going to air, but if you happen to be watching ABC in Los Angeles, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> let us know if Brandon yeah. pops up, because he did do the interview. <laughs> um, and also, today, um, at 2? Yeah, Albert Lee. Um, Albert Lee and Beckett are playing, mm -hmm. and then tomorrow will be Sarah Rogo and Friends, and then Sunday... From two to six? Two to six. Two to six, we're back. And we're I'll back. be starting that one off with my looper by myself. Woo! And then the band will come on and Woo! we're going to do our thing. So. Yeah, the Norm's crew is going to fill the day with music. <laughs> we're coming back. <laughs> we're, we're back, baby. You're very scared. <laughs> oh, yeah. But uh, it go was ahead. loud, too. It was pretty mall. loud. But you got to understand. I mean, imagine playing a mall. Like, <laughs> the, it's acoustics. Huge. the acoustics <laughs> are. You guys sounded great. I got footage that's going to be coming up. So. Uh -oh. Yeah, Jen did a great job, yeah. too. As, uh, she somehow she sat made through it. Sound it. <laughs> no, it was, it was a lot of fun. No, it was fun. It's a cool event to honor just the area, the valley in general, you know, Norm's kind of plays an integral role in the area. And there were a lot of other cool things there too. There were like all these vintage arcade games. There was a yeah. beer garden. There's like just a lot of cool like Valley Relics. The Valley Relics Museum provided some like signage from famous valley stores and things like that. It's a very cool event. There's so, air conditioning. And it's, yeah, and there's there, it's, it's hot in the valley. Unlike <laughs> here right now. It's right now. I'm, I'm, it's pretty up. hot. Okay. Uh, anyway, we should get to the guitar. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. It's Flat Top Friday, and this currently is the only one of these in existence. This is the only one on the market, and that's because Norm custom ordered it from Gibson. And what it is, is a custom shop recreation of a 1962 J200 double pit guard in Burgundy. What? Whoa. What? There's a lot to talk looks about familiar. here. It looks familiar. Now, if this is the only one of these that exists, how does it look familiar? Well, that's because Norm ordered this to be a replica, basically, of a guitar that he sold to Bruce Springsteen. Um, the guitar that Norm sold to Bruce was a 1962 J200 in this sort of like burgundy red finish, which is un unusual, with the double pit guards. It had both of the pit guards. Um, and very recently, Bruce actually released a music video that I'll show here for his song Western Stars, where you can see him. I won't play too much of the audio because, you know, YouTube. But uh, let me go back Somewhere a little bit. There's a guitar. Somewhere in here, there's the guitar. It's coming up, it's coming up, it's coming. There it is. Oh, cool. So yep. that's it's all throughout this video. If you watch the whole video, he's that's just the guitar that he's using on the song. And uh, it's a 1962 double pit guard Burgundy J200 that Norm sold to Bruce. So when Norm saw that video, the memories came flooding back and he uh, put in an order for this guitar and, and had it custom made. Unbelievable craftsmanship. Really a, a very well built guitar. Feels really sturdy. It does. You can hit it as hard as you want and it doesn't collapse, which is exactly what you want out of a J200. They use a really nice cut of flame maple for the neck here on both sides. Um, the back and sides are also a very nice cut of maple it looks really just gorgeous wood on this thing and then look at that front that's a spruce top on the top um, you've got binding all the way around the guitar binding on the uh, fingerboard as well as the headstock with the crown inlay up top on the back here we've got our golden tuners with the custom shop logo um, we have let me see on the front here oh yeah closed mustache bridge I love the look of that bridge. Yeah. Um, the mustache bridge is one of the cooler bridges around, in my opinion. And this one came loaded with LR Bags electronics that sound great. They do. They sound really good, man. In. Yeah, I'm, I love this thing, to be honest. It's it's a great guitar. So the electronics work great, but acoustically it sounds wonderful as well. The case 
is cool too because they kind of did this like matte black thing if you look like all of it is this matted black including even the latches um so a unique case with this guitar too i've only ever seen one or two of these from gibson before and uh the whole bruce springsteen thing i mean whether you're a fan of his or not it's a cool guitar in general if you are a bruce springsteen fan then i mean extra bonus points because you have a guitar that's just like the one that bruce has and you got it from the same guy yeah, so that's, that's cool. you know this is it's it's a very cool guitar mike is going to stay back here today right i will play yes. in the back and uh going to showcase the electronics and everything thank you mike so western stars j200 show them how it's done mikey thanks brandon Woo, thanks jen you're welcome Woo. that was good <laughs> <laughs> what? That, that was, was good. That was good. <laughs> you did a great job. So, a really cool guitar. We're also going to plug in um, to this Fishman. Let me get that hooked up already. And then we'll play it acoustic as well. And I'll, for all those, for everybody <laughs> who's asking how Norm's doing, he's actually here now. So, he's doing all right. And he's been walking without the walker, which is really good. And uh, he's listening to music out there. So, that's why we're doing this even plugged in in the back so <laughs> see what happens Nice guitar. Mm -hmm. Cool, let's turn it up. Let's see what we get. Wait, am I on? No, I'm not on. <laughs> very cool. Ruined a very nice moment. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's see what we get. It's hot back here. It is. Shout out to our repair guys and our techs. Yes. Because they're working all day back here. We bring them a bunch of guitars. We all do it as a group. <laughs> <laughs>
So cool, let's play uh, one more thing and see what we get. Cool, there you have it, your brand new Gibson J200 in Burgundy. Um, really cool guitar. And just a cool story behind it. Um, I love picturing Bruce Springsteen at the warehouse with Norm, um, picking up this guitar and sorting out through all the stuff he's got there. And this is the one he wanted, so um, really cool. Um, yeah, you can check them all out at normansdreadguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. Let's see, see. Bye. That was awesome. It yeah. sounded great. It's a cool guitar. It is.